we come before you this day and we welcome the Holy Spirit to come and guide us. Open our ears to hear, our eyes to see, and our heart to receive with understanding all that you would have. And fill our mouth with your words. We bless and praise you this day for the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. What I just heard the Lord say as Dan was praying that, he said, if I've given you authority to meet as an ecclesia, to govern, to be judges, to come into my courts, to present cases, wouldn't I also give you the authority to release the judgments and to execute the judgments? That's what judges do. You know, they release death sentences, imprisonment. There's much that is released in a natural court against wickedness. And when the courts do not operate in justice, wickedness is released in the land. We know if innocent blood is shed and there is not blood, it's by blood that innocent blood is covered. In the Old Testament, they, if they found a body in the field, they had to measure from that body to the nearest city and they had that city be responsible to repent before the Lord for that blood. Now think about in our nation and how people murder and they have sometimes no punishment at all. And it said, and that brings a curse on the land, on the people. So we thank you, Father. I come into your courts with thanksgiving. I thank you, Father, for the truth and the revelation that was released at Clay Nash Ministries this past week. I thank you, Father, for the encouragement of the prophetic word that I received. But I especially are so thankful that my mother is in the great father witnesses with my father. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for my sister, Margaret, and the way that she served mom and that she could be holding her in her hour of death. Thank you, Father. I thank you. She could have died any time in the night season, but she didn't. I thank you that she was able to keep her promise to my mother that she would not die alone. I am so grateful. I am so grateful for my mother's life. I'm so grateful for the legacy of faith. I'm so grateful that she taught me as a young girl to expect to hear God. And I started hearing you as a young woman, a young girl. And I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for that legacy. The legacy of the prophetic in our family, the legacy of miracles, the legacy of the nations in our family. I thank you for that. The legacy of adventure, that it was never a problem to go and explore new cultures. The legacy of trust in your provision. I thank you for that, Father. I thank you, Father, for the legacy that our missions were sent by the Holy Spirit to the nations. This is a legacy we always knew we were sent by the Spirit. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you, the legacy of teaching, the legacy of revelation, the legacy of prayer and intercession. I thank you, Father, that you, I received the mantle, my mother's prayer mantle. Thank you, Flowers. Check and see if it's in her closet behind us. I have my mother's prayer mantle for all the years. And she would pray at night, not that, the other one on this side. For years, she prayed at night, and she covered herself with a mantle, and she did um, sackcloth and ashes. She just pulled this out. This is my mother's mantle. She didn't realize it. She was praying for the women who aborted. On this sack, it says infant home. And this was a sack my sister Mary had brought back when she was a nurse and she was working at the infant home. And my mother pulled this out of the closet, the rag bin. And it was used so much, it's full of holes. And this was the mantle that my sisters gave to me when they were cleaning up my mother's house. The mantle of her intercession. 
Father, I thank you for this mantle that was passed to me. I thank you, Father. I thank you for the life of intercession. I thank you for the prayer she, the Holy Spirit gave her for the women who abort. I thank you for the atonement for abortion that was called the prayer for atonement for abortion. I thank you, Father, because she, she laid that foundation of having a prayer given to her by the Holy Spirit. Out of it, the fruit of it, was silencing the accuser in the way that silence the accuser has gone to the nations. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you that she always said, you're going to stand on my shoulders. My ceiling is your floor. I thank you, Father, that those were her words. I praise you, Father, and I honor you, and I thank you for every good gift that my mother and father deposited in their children and their grandchildren. I thank you for it, Father, and I thank you that you're releasing those gifts to the family, and I thank you that mom and dad are praying in agreement with all the grandchildren that were miscarried for their siblings, for the family, for the salvation of the family. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I thank you for the miracles in our family. So many, so many incredible miracles that happened. As we were on that prayer call, that last WhatsApp meeting at my mother's death, there are six siblings and everyone is alive. Everyone, every grandchild is still alive. There has to be at least 40 grandchildren. It breaks in this incredible beautiful family. And I thank you, Father, for the blessings, the Lord, that have been shown on this family, the blessings in physical health, the blessings in finances, the blessings in giftings, the blessings in faithfulness in husbands. I thank you. I thank you for that, Father. I thank you for the blessings of the Lord make it rich and you add no sorrow or toil to it. Thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that my heart overflows with thanksgiving for the cross of Jesus Christ, for his death, burial, and resurrection. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, for communion. I thank you for the power of communion. I thank you for the word of God, which is our sword. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I praise you, and I bless you, and I honor you. Who's going to do the praise? What's the step in for praise? Raise your hand. Who's got praise? Joy, will you do praise if you're able? Okay. Father, we praise you. You're done with Thanksgiving? Okay. Okay. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you this day. You are good, good Father. We praise you for your mercies, oh God. We praise you for your love in our lives. We praise you for your grace, oh God, that is sufficient each and every day in our lives. We praise you because you are our Abba. We praise you. You never change. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> we praise you, Daddy. You are our Daddy. We can come to you and call you Daddy. We praise you. We praise you for you are our Lord. We praise you for your Lordship of our lives. We praise you, King. You are the King of glory. The mighty one, the mighty one in battle, the mighty warrior you are. We praise you. We praise you. You are Adonai. Yes, there is no other beside you, oh God. We praise you. <laughs> you are our advocate. We praise you. Hallelujah. You are the one that advocates for us. You are always advocating for us to win. So we praise you. 
we praise you daddy hallelujah almighty are you there is no one you are the omnipotent the sovereign god omniscient the internal and the infinity god we praise you <laughs> we praise you oh daddy alpha and omega you are you are our beginning you are our and you are our middle all oh, the seasons of our lives you are the i am that i am we praise you the all sufficient one hallelujah we praise you you are the amen the ancient of days in our lives we praise you daddy the anointed one hallelujah the apostle you are in our life the high priest you are in our life we praise you hallelujah the atoning sacrifice for our sins we praise you the author, the finisher of our faith, our internal salvation you are to us. We praise you. We praise you, the author of our lives, the lily in the valley, bright and morning star you are. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Our baptizer, you are. Hallelujah. We praise you. Hallelujah. You are our beloved. We can call you our beloved, the lover of our soul. You are our husband. We praise you. <laughs> you are blessed hope in us, our branch. Hallelujah. We praise you. The bread of life. Ah, the brightness of your glory. Hallelujah. We praise you, Daddy. Ah, our buckler. Hallelujah. To them that walk uprightly. You are our shield, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. To those who walk in integrity, we praise you. You are the builder of all things in our lives. You keep building us, oh God. So we praise you. Hallelujah. To whom all things were made, to whom both in heaven and on earth. Hallelujah. The captain of our salvation, our champion, you are. <laughs> <laughs> we praise you, the chief apostle. You are our chief shepherd. Hallelujah. The Lord, indeed, you are our shepherd. <laughs> we shall not want. Uh, oh, you make us lie down in green pastures. We praise you. Oh, you restore our soul. We praise you, oh Lord. You lead us in paths of righteousness for your namesake. Daddy, we praise you. Hallelujah. You are our Christ, the anointed one, the chosen one, the Christ of God. We praise you. Who compares to you, O oh God, our comforter? You are, yes, the Holy Spirit, the confidence of all the ends of the earth. You are our confidence, O oh God. We praise you. The consolation of Israel, you are. We praise you, O oh God. The consuming fire, you are. We praise you. The chief cornerstone, you are the counselor, the covenant for the, you are our covenant, oh God, the covenant keeping God, the one that never fails in his covenant, oh God. You keep your covenant, you are a covenant to us, you have given yourself as a covenant to us. So we praise you for this covenant of <laughs> the covenant to the people, oh God, hallelujah, the creator, you are, hallelujah, you are the dawn from on high, oh, day spring from on high, you are to us, you shine on us, oh God, oh, you are our sunrise on high. We praise you. Hallelujah. You are the God of love, the God of kindness. You are to us. The day star you are. Hallelujah. We praise you. Our deliverer. Yes. <laughs> the deliverer out of Zion. Hallelujah. You are our desire. Oh God. You are our door. Hallelujah. That we can come to you and enter my Lord into life. We praise you. Hallelujah. You are our inheritance. Hallelujah. We praise you. 
Mighty God, oh Marabo Siakai, Mishitana, Imisharabo Siakari, Amasa Tai, Rimiribo Sai, Eloi, you are to us, Meribo Sai, we praise you, Jehovah El Olama, we praise you, Jehovah El Leroy, we praise you, Jehovah El Shaddai, who was so mighty, Marabo Siama, Iokori Amasia Tai. The internal God you are, the internal spirit you are. We praise you, the internal life you are, the internal one, our internal Father, the everlasting one, the everlasting God, the everlasting King, the express image of his person. We praise you today. Oh, faithful and true are you. You are so faithful, Father. Oh, you never fail. You remain faithful always. We praise you. You are the faithfulness of God. Your faithful witness. Hallelujah. Faithful and true. You are faithful creator. The faithful God, our Father, the almighty the father of glory the father of lights you are we praise you the father of mercies we praise you oh you are the father oh to the fatherless we praise you the father of spirits we praise you hallelujah you are the first and the last we praise you this day None compares to you. We lift you on high. We say hallelujah. We join the angels this day and say you are worthy. You are worthy. <laughs> you are holy. You are holy. Excellent is your name. We praise you this day. We join the 24 elders and we say you are holy. You are holy. The cloud of witnesses, we join them and we say you are holy you are <laughs> you are holy daddy you are holy holy are you daddy you are holy we sing holy 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 worthy worthy you are worthy you are marvelous you are marvelous receive all our praise oh god receive all our praise this day receive all our adoration this day and we love you daddy receive all our love receive <laughs> receive all our love hallelujah hallelujah in jesus name we praise amen thank you father i want to step into the court of justice and as we step into this court of justice I would ask the seers to look around. I ask for all the prayers that have gone forth from the nations, from the body of Christ, from the ecclesias throughout the nations to be brought in this day. All the tears, all the dears that have cried out for justice, Father, all the prayers of the martyrs that were prayed, everything coming into redeeming the world, everything. We thank you for all the prayers, all the prayers of the martyr's blood to be brought in to the court of justice. Father, we ask for every court case and every decision that we have received in the courts as we have prayed to be brought in this day, as we pray for justice. I ask for the court case specifically, cases we've specifically done about the Supreme Court and the judgments we received regarding the different leaders, the different members of the court. I ask for that to be present. Court is in session. The judge is seated at the next one. In my distress, I cried to the Lord, and he answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips and from deceitful tongues. What shall be given to you, or what more? shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue. Sharp arrows of a mighty warrior with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe to me that I sojourn with Meshach, that I dwell among the tents of Kedar. 
as if among notorious barbarous people. My life is too long in its dwelling with him who hates peace. I am for peace when I speak there of the Lord. Anybody seeing anything? Rita? Um, first of all, I saw wagon loads of, of, of prayers. I mean, I just dumped in the court. There was so, so, so many prayers. And, and there's a prophet that came into the court. I think it's Elijah. Anyone see anything else? I was aware of the solemnity of the court. Janice? Yeah, I am just kind of a, on the side of many seeking justice. The weeping is like I'm feeling that weeping and crying, the cries for justice. There have been many, many nations that have suffered horribly at the hands of wicked men. Wicked men. So Father, we thank you for justice. We cried out for justice for the nations. And we've set before you and we have us all the books to be opened. And all the judgments written that have been spoken to be released on those who are the who have set themselves as the arbiters of truth who have denied you and Jesus Christ, the truth is the truth, the way, the truth. Father, who have denied your commandments, who have taken the nations into destruction, causing great death, great suffering. Father, I bring the cries of all the families who were not able to be with their loved ones when they died because of the COVID restrictions. Father, I ask that their prayers come in, that they receive justice. All those who are denied justice, denied treatment. <coughs> all their prayers, all their tears. Their prayers, all their tears. The tears of the young women who've been kidnapped and taken into, into sex trafficking. Bring them up before you, God. They've been crying out, Where are you, God? Why can this, why does this evil continue, O oh Lord? We have prayed regarding this, Father. We have prayed regarding the slaughter of the innocent with abortion in the nations. Where there's so many things we've prayed and cried out for justice for. So, Father, I bring before you this court case that the Supreme Court is going to be deliberating about. I bring this before you. We've cried out for this nation, for the election of this nation. We have cried out. We have wept bitter tears. We have stood with you on the side of justice. We have spoken your words. We have believed the prophets, and you said, if you believe the prophets, you're going to prosper. So, Father, we align ourselves with the words of the prophet. We align ourselves with the words of the Yes, Pramod? The scales of justice, when they are whole, when uh, the, we, there is some deficit, they are imbalanced. And Jesus Christ died for us all to bring that scales of justice in balance. So he is the one who gives us the justice. So I don't know how you will apply this in prayers, but this is what I'm sensing. Father, we thank you that you are the one who has determined the scales of justice according to your law. Your law is our handbook of justice. And it says in your law, in your word, the judges are not to have partiality, take a bribe, or, or enforce lies. The arbiters of lies. 
So Father, I am asking that those, those who have taken bribes that are in the court systems of this nation and every nation where people have been denied justice, Father, that they have been partial to their mindsets and that they have been wicked judges and have dealt wickedly in their courtrooms and have caused unnecessary suffering for the innocent. Unnecessary suffering in this nation is wickedness wants itself. Father, we're asking for a restoration of the balance of justice. Justice is supposed to be blind. All right, Janice. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, women, families, you know, hungry, their children dying of hunger, and their voices, they can't even, um, they're crying for justice, but their voices can't even be heard. So that the Lord um, brings justice on the famine and the wicked um, governments that have brought the famine upon them. I ask, Father, that you amplify the voices of the weak and the oppressed, the suffering. Amplify their voices in heaven. And I also ask that you release hope into their hearts. They will see the answer to their prayers and their needs. We're well aware of the cries of the orphans and the widows, the mothers with starving children. Hear their cries and weep. Hear the cries of everyone who's not going to have heat this winter because of the policies of wicked men in Europe, in the United States, the nations of the world. Hear the cries of Father, I thank you for the synergy of the ages that the great cloud of witnesses is praying with us, is in agreement with whatever we're saying. And this is an interesting image. I just saw this angel go up to the judge's desk in the court, and he poured out on the on the on his desk, all of these judgments that were made by wicked judges in the earth, and all the suffering that has come because of that. It's like he's saying to the Father, remember, just judge, remember. And as I'm saying that, I'm seeing like where they're in court and it's the horrific murder of a son or a daughter or family. And the murderer gets off with a very light sentence. And I'm seeing the families collapsing in pain and tears. And crying out, where is justice? It was justice where our loved ones are. It was justice. Anyone seeing anything?
told me to start in the Psalms, so I'm going to Psalm 1, the very first one. Blessed, happy, fortunate, prosperous, and enviable is the man who walks and lives not in the counsel of the ungodly, following their advice, their plans, and purposes, nor stands submissive and inactive in the path where sinners walk, nor sits down to relax and rest where the scornful and the mockers gather. But his delight and desire in the law of the Lord and on his law, the precepts, the instructions, the teachings of God, he habitually meditates, ponders, studies day and night. And he shall be like a tree firmly planted and tended by the streams of water, ready to bring forth its fruit in its season. Its leaf shall not fade or wither, and everything he does shall prosper and come to maturity. Not so for the wicked. This is the judgment, Father, we bring on the wicked that has already been spoken. It's an already an, execute, it's an execution of the judgment here. Those disobedient and living without God are not so, but they are like the chaff, worthless dove, dead without substance, which the wind dies, drives away. Therefore, the wicked, those disobedient and living without God, shall not stand justified in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous, those who are upright and right standing with God. For the Lord knows and is fully acquainted with the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly, those living outside God's will. Those who have denied God's law, those who have denied even the existence of God and have declared that they are God, they shall perish and end in ruin and come to naught. Father, we know that the kings of the earth have taken their places. The rulers have taken, they take counsel together against the Lord. And his anointed one, the Messiah, said, let us break the bands of restraint asunder and cast their cords of control from us. Let us break the power of the commandments of God that were given at Sinai. But he who sits in the heavens laughs, and the Lord has them in derision and in supreme contempt, and he mocks them. He speaks to them in his deep anger and troubles and terrifies and confounds them in his displeasure and fury, saying, yet I have anointed, installed, and placed my king on my holy hill of Zion, and I will declare the, the decree of the Lord, he said to me. You are my son, and this day I declare I've begotten you. Ask of me, and I'll give you the nations as your inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth as your possession. Father, we have asked for the nations. We have asked for the uttermost parts of the earth as our possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them in pieces like potter's ware. Now, therefore, O you kings, act wisely, be instructed, and be warned. O oh, you rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with reverent awe and worship with fear. Rejoice and be in heart spirits with trembling, lest you be displeased him. Kiss the son, pay homage to him in purity, lest he be angry and you perish in the way. For soon shall his wrath be kindled. O oh, blessed, happy, fortunate, and to be envied are all those who seek refuge and put their trust in him. Anyone seeing anything? Rita? This is really, in, I'm seeing injustice as an entity. Then begins to rule the hearts of men, hearts and souls of men who have embraced bribery and corruption. That's so sad. How long will you forget me, O Lord, forever? How long will you hide your face from me? Father, this is the cry of those who have been crying out for justice. How long must I lay up cares within me and have sorrow in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy exalt over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord, my God. Lighten the eyes of my faith to behold your faith in the pitch-like darkness, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him, I have prevailed over her, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am shaken. But I have trusted and, and leaned on him and confident in your mercy and loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice and be high spirits in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully. Let's see.
Huh? Words and promises now I will arise, says the Lord, because the poor are oppressed. Because of the groans of the needy, I will set him and her in safety in his, the salvation for which he pants. The words and promises of the Lord are pure words, like silver, refined in an earthen furnace, purified seven times. You will keep them and guard them. Preserve them, O Lord. You will guard and keep us from this evil generation forever. For the wicked walk and prowl about on every side as vileness is exalted and baseness is rated high among the sons. Janice? Yeah, I was going to ask you um, which psalm was the one you read last before awesome. that. Psalm 12. Okay, okay. And then... Um, I was also, I also saw um, the, I believe um, based on what I was saying, the entities need to be, you know, we need to request for justice on the evil entities. You know, I saw um, this um, death and I saw Hades, you know, the Lord was, you need to request for justice against them. That is one too. And against their councils because they have um, policies and laws that they are using to exert on, to exert wickedness and evil on, on humanity. So Father, we thank you. In all of these cries, the people have given testimony regarding the wickedness that has been done against them. And Lord, I ask that every wicked leader in every entity empowering them, the entity of injustice, death, and Hades we brought into this court this day and be set before the true Lord Jesus Christ for judgment. And all of their counsels that are guiding them, all of the counsels in the UN and in the World Economic Forum that are guiding them in bringing forth these wicked laws and these wicked treaties and these wicked demands that are being placed upon the nations of the world. And the farmers, we ask them all to be brought before you for justice and judgment. Hamoud? Deuteronomy 33:17. His glory is like a firstborn bull, and his horns like the horns of the wild ox. Together, together with them, he shall push the peoples to the ends of the earth. They are the thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. I see Jesus Christ coming as a, with his bullish power and driving out injustice. And God, Psalm 17, I hear the right, my righteous cause, O Lord. Listen to my shrill, piercing cries. Give ear to our prayers that come from unfeigned and guileless lips. Let my sentence of vindication come from you. May your eyes behold the things that are just and upright. You have proved my heart. You've visited me in the night. You've tried me and found nothing, no evil purposes in me. I purposed, purposed it that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the word, works of men, by the word of your lip, I have avoided the ways of the violent, the paths of the destroyer. By the words of your lip, we have avoided the vaccine, the way of the destroyer. Our, my, our steps have held closely to your paths, to the tracks of the one who's gone on before, and our feet have not slipped. I have called upon you, O Lord, O God, and you will hear me and climb your ear to me and hear my speech. Father, I thank you that you, you see us, that you hear us, and that you're with us. So your marvel, marvelous loving kindness, O you who save by your right hand those who trust and take refuge in you from those who rise up against them. Keep and guard us as the people of your eye, hide us in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who despoil and oppress us, our deadly adversaries who surround us. They are enclosed in their own prosperity and have shut up their hearts to pity. With their mouth, they make exorbitant claims and proudly and arrogantly speak. They track us down in each step we take. Now they surround us. They set their eyes to cast us to the ground. 
like a lion greedy and eager to tear his prey, and as a young lion lurking in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, confront and forestall them, cast them down, deliver our lives from the wicked by your sword, deliver the nations from the wicked by your sword, from men by your hand, O God, from men of this world, these poor moths of the night whose portion in life is idle and vain. Their bellies are filled with your hidden treasure, what you've stored up. Their children are satiated and they leave the rest of their wealth to their babes. As for me, I will continue beholding your face in righteousness, right, rightness, justice, and right standing with you. I shall be fully satisfied when I wake to find myself beholding your form and having sweet communion with you. Amen. We shall be satisfied. We shall be satisfied. I thank you that you hear our prayers. I thank you that you see us. You see every wickedness that is happening, that which is hidden and that which is exposed. I thank you that your judgments are right and true. Thank you. Rita, are you seeing something? I was just seeing a lot of confusion and chaos. It's, it's like uh, injustice uses confusion and chaos and twisting of words like with Lilias and um, to bring about injustice. We thank you, Father, that the Spirit of God, you brooded over the chaos at creation. And you spoke and you brooded. And we thank you, Father, that you were brooding over the chaos in the nations. You are brooding over it, and you are speaking, and you are bringing order. Hear my voice, O God, in my complaint. Guard and preserve our lives from the terror of the enemy. Hide us from the secret counsel and conspiracy of the ungodly, from the scheming of the evildoers, who wet their tongues like a sword, who aim venomous words like arrows, who shoot from ambush at the blameless man. Suddenly do they shoot at him without self-reproach or fear. They encourage themselves in an evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly, and they say, who will discover us? Father, they have laid snares in the courts. They have laid snares with their laws. And who will discover us? They think out acts of injustice and say, we've accomplished a well-devised thing. For the inward thought of each one is unsearchable and their heart is deep. Their heart is wicked with their unsearchable wickedness. But God will shoot an unexpected arrow at them. And suddenly they shall be hindered. And they will be made to stumble, their own tongues turning against them. And all who gaze upon them will shake their heads and flee away. And all men shall reverently fear and be in awe, and they will declare the work of God. They will wisely consider and acknowledge that this is his doing. The uncompromised and righteous shall be glad in the Lord, shall trust and take refuge in him. And all the upright of heart shall glory in all praise. Father, I thank you that you're shooting that unexpected arrow suddenly. The suddenly is upon you. I thank you. For the bow and arrow that you are releasing in this day and this hour. Hey, Janice, you have your hand up. Yeah, I have um, Isaiah 25, all of it. Okay, I'll do it. You want me to do it? Are you going to do it? You can do it. Okay. She said you could do it, Janice. Oh, I didn't hear what she said. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, Lord, you are our God. We will exalt you. We will praise your name, for you have, for you would do wonder, wonderful things. For them. Your counsels of, of old are faithfulness and truth, for you have, uh, for you will make a city a ruin, 
a fortified city of Rion, oh Lord, a palace of this evil, palace of wickedness, oh Lord, to be a city no more, oh Lord. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, the strong people will glorify you. The city of the terrible nations will fear you, for you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress. A refuge from the storm, a shed from the heat, for the blast of the terrible ones shall is as a storm against the wall. You, Almighty God, will reduce the noise of aliens as heat in a dry place, as heat in the shadow of a cloud. Let the song of the terrible ones be diminished. As in this and in this mountain, the Lord of hosts shall make for all people a feast of choice pieces, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of well-refined wines on the lees. And you, almighty God, just judge, destroy on this mountain the surface of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Swallow up death forever. And you, Lord God almighty, wipe away the tears from all faces. Remove the rebuke of your people, O oh Lord. Take it away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. And let it be said this day, behold, this is our God. We have waited for you, O Lord, and you saved us. This is the Lord. We have waited for you, Almighty God. We have longed for your salvation. And Lord, you saved us. We are glad and rejoice in your salvation. For on this mountain, in this your court, Lord, the hand of the Lord will rest and Moab, the enemies shall be trampled down under you, under your feet, as straw is trampled down for the refuse heap. And Lord God Almighty, stretch, spread out your hands in their midst as a swimmer reaches out to swim and bring down their pride together with the trickery, the works of their hands. Let the fortress of the, of the high Fort of their walls, O oh Lord, be brought down, laid low, and brought to the ground, down to the dust, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, going on chapter 26. You will ordain peace, God's favor, blessings, temper, and spiritual for all of your people, for you have also wrought in us and for us in all our works. O oh Lord, our God, other masters besides you have ruled over us, but we will acknowledge and mention your name only. They, the foreign tyrant masters, are dead. They shall not live and reappear. They are powerless ghosts. They shall not rise and come back. Therefore, you have visited and made an end of them and caused every memorial of, of them, every trace of their supremacy to perish. I thank you, God. I thank you. You have increased the nation, O Lord. You've increased the nations. You are glorified. You have enlarged all the borders of the land. Lord, when they were in trouble and distress, when we were in trouble and distress, they sought and visited you. They poured out a prayerful whisper when your chastening was upon them. Like a woman with child drawing near the time of her delivery is in pain and rides and cries out in her pain. So have we been before you at your presence, O Lord. We have been with child. We've been writhing and in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth only wind. We've not wrought any deliverance in the earth and the inhabitants of the world of Israel are not yet born. Your dead shall live, O Lord. The bodies of our dead saints shall rise. You shall dwell, you who dwell in the dust, awake and sing for joy. For your dew is a dew of sparkling light, O Lord. Heavenly supernatural dew and the earth shall cast forth the dead to life yet. And on the land of the shades of the dead, you will let your dew fall. Come, my people, enter your chambers, Shut your doors behind you. Hide yourself for a little while until the Lord's wrath is past. For behold, the Lord is coming forth out of his place, having to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The blood, the earth also will disclose the blood shed upon her and will no longer cover her slain and conceal her guilt. I thank you, Lord, for the strength to give birth to this new world that you are orchestrating for the coming of Jesus Christ. I thank you. I thank you for the justice and the righteousness of this day. Ooh. 
What did you see, Rita? I see it on your face. Well, I'm, I'm still seeing Leviathan. I'm wondering if he needs to be dealt with specifically. It's interesting. The next chapter is Leviathan. In that day, the Lord will deliver Israel, will deliver his people from her enemies and also the rebel powers of evil and darkness. His sharp, unrelenting, great and strong sword will visit and punish Leviathan the swiftling serpent, Leviathan, the twisting and winding serpent, and he will slay the monster that is in the sea. We thank you that the sword of the Lord is against Leviathan, the swiftling serpent, and the twisting winding serpent. Ma'am? Well, this is the judgment against Herod. Now Herod cherished bitter hostility and animosity for the people of Tyre and Sidon. And their deputies came to him in a united body and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, they asked for peace because their country was nourished and dependent on the king's country for food. On an appointed day, Herod arrayed himself in his royal robes, took his seat upon his throne, and addressed an oration to them. And the assembled people shouted, It is the voice of a god and not of a man. At once, an angel of the Lord smote him down, cut him down, because he did not give glory to God. That is, the preeminence and kingly majesty that belonged to him as the supreme ruler. And he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of the Lord concerning the attainment through Christ of salvation and the kingdom of God continued to grow and spread. And Barnabas and Saul came back from Jerusalem when they had completed their mission, bringing with them John, whose surname was Mark. We thank you, Father, for the judgment against the wicked leaders who have raised up themselves and said, Look, we speak with the voice of God. I ask that the blood of Jesus cover all of their hearts. All of their hearts. <coughs> uh, that was Acts 12. 20 through the end to 25. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Would someone take a look in court and see what's happening? Rita? Um. <clears throat> Everything is coming into order and, and people are standing at attention as though waiting for some kind of verdict or something. Janice? You know, um, I think there was, when you were reading one of the places, it says, it says in that day, you know? So I heard, um, what day? When do you want this executed? So it is one thing for the just, just to give us um, judgments in our favor, but then to execute justice when? So. Father. I'm requesting that in the day the Supreme Court gives the answer on the case 
that will overturn the 2020 election. It will cause the restoration of the government of the United States of America to be placed in the hands of those who are in right standing with you. The justice will be restored to this nation. And especially, especially to all the January 6th prisoners. We're asking that this judgment come forth quickly. We're asking that you strengthen each and every one of the righteous judges in their court. We're asking that you silence the voice of Leviathan in the court. We're asking that they not look ahead to the problems this will cause the nation. We pray for the protection of all of the judgments of the judges and the families. We're asking that the military will um, execute this judgment with expedience. To remove all of the wicked who have placed themselves on thrones. Who are working so diligently at this time to pass laws of wickedness further buying this nation to the iniquity of the judgments, wicked judges, and the destruction of faith in this nation, and the legalizing of the worship. And Father, we're asking for battalions of angels, whole, whole armies, angel armies to be released to this nation to stop the false flags that the enemy is attempting to use. Every false flag, we say, is forbidden. Their plans, their counsels, their strategies to bring fear and terror to this nation, to, to stir up a civil war. We say no, we forbid it using the keys of the kingdom. What we forbid on earth is what is already forbidden in heaven. And what we permit on this earth is what is already permitted in heaven. So we, we permit using the keys of the kingdom, we permit the righteous judgment to come forth from the Supreme Court that will overturn the wicked government that has been in place since 2020 and all the wicked laws that have been passed and the removal of all the wicked men and women in government who failed their oath, who were treasonous against the Constitution by not following the law of the land against foreign interference in our elections. We thank you, Father, for the orderly removal of them from capital to capital and all of their staff. We thank you for the order, the order. We speak order over the chaos. We say the Holy Spirit will brood over the chaos the enemy wants to release. And we say order, order in the streets, order in the capital, order in the government, order in the cities, order. We say the order of God is the Holy Spirit broods over the chaos the enemy wants to bring. And the angels will be responsible to uphold the law in the streets, to prevent the murders and the burnings and the ravaging of the nation in the capitals and the cities. Anyone seeing anything? Thank you for that, Angela. Mood. Yeah. 
Your hand was up, Pramud. Yes. Yes, I want to read one verse. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Yeah. With my soul, I have de desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Yeah. This is Isaiah 26, 9. Janice, you seeing anything? Rita, Angela, Lisa, any of my seers? Jackie, it's kind of like they're waiting. Angels are at work doing all this stuff and it's kind of a waiting period is what I'm seeing. I was seeing the angels running up to the judge and he was handing them scrolls. Dutch spoke about something that was very interesting. You know where it says, and God works all things to good according to his design and purpose. That design and purpose is called hypothesis. And it is literally the thesis that has been written over our life of what we shall accomplish. So we thank you that the purpose and design, the thesis that has been written over the nations over the body of Christ, over individuals in the body of Christ, the hypothesis of their life, that you're going to work all things to good. All things work together for good and fit into a plan for those who love God and are, courting, and are called according to his hypothesis. We thank you according to your design, according to the thesis that has been written about our life. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. We thank you that the righteous military is in place to accomplish that which has been set forth. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you. We thank you for the removal of the unrighteous leaders in the military who have been sabotaging the nation. We thank you for the exposure of FTX and all the money that has been sent to Ukraine, which has landed back into the pockets of the DNC to fund their candidates. Rita? Um, I see the angels fighting Python right now. Of course, Python tries to stop destiny, which, I mean, angels tries to stop destiny as well. So. Thank you, Dave, for victory, because they've got the sword of the Lord. We called him for judgment for all the injustice to stand before the true Lord Jesus Christ to be judged, and to be taken to where he needs to be taken, to be silenced. We will not stop the enemies from going forth, the angels from going forth to accomplish that for which they've been sent. Just like you can't stop the war for accomplishing that for which it's been sent. You can't. You cannot stop it. So, Isaiah 55, 11. Every word of the Lord shall be that has been sent forth shall accomplish that for which it's been sent. So succeed in your lives. Thank you. Dan has been hearing the Lord rebukes you. Dan said, it's thundering down hallways. The Lord rebuke you. Yes, Janice? Yeah. 
Oh, sorry, I was, I, I've been hearing the spirit of justice. Lord, pour out your spirit of justice. I'm still hearing him thundering down those hallways of power. I thank you that your tear is poured out upon me. Ramud. We are in the season of full moon, and today the moon is in Taurus. And the symbol of Taurus is weighing scales. And we are doing court case for justice of God. So this is a done deal. This is a done deal. Things done in the right time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that, Pramud. Thank you. Thank you. The scales of justice in the nations have been balanced. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for justice. We thank you that it's according to your timing and your season and you direct it. We're so grateful, Father. So grateful for the spirit of the living God. For the revelation of the spirit of the living God. We're so grateful. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Janice? Um. Is there something about um, making decrees and declarations? That's, I'm hearing um, some angels, you know, look like they're waiting for some decrees and declarations coming from us. And you saying something about decrees and declarations as well. Thank you that every decree and declaration that has been made over the past months by Tim Sheets and Dutch Sheets and all of the ecclesias throughout the world you have received your orders, angels. You, they've been written in the, in the books of heaven and we release you to go forth with those decrees and declarations. And the most powerful declaration is the covenant and that America shall be saved. America is saved. The nations belong to the Lord and the fullness thereof the earth is the Lord, the heavens and the earths are the Lord, and the people who dwell therein. He is the owner of heaven and earth. He is the possessor of heaven and earth. He's the most high God. Go and take possession of the nations. Because the harvest is secure. I justice is raining down from heaven and it's being spoken from the heavens. When you said that I thought of Martin Luther King saying justice will roll down from the mountains like a river. It shall flow. It shall flow. Justice is rolling down from the mountains. Good place to step into the room of heaven. Janice, could you do the bread? I'm going to do the cup. Okay, ma'am. You're muted. 
we ask for your permission, Almighty God, to, and to come into your room of covenant. Thank you for the torn flesh of Jesus Christ, Lord. That is guarantee. This is the guarantee that we have justice, O oh Lord. There's our hope of justice that today, December 6, 2022, it will enter into the records in all of creation, in every timeline, age, realm, and dimension, O oh Lord, that justice has been poured down from heaven, has been poured down from heaven unto us, unto the nations, Lord. You said in your word, today is our day of salvation. Our salvation is the doom of the enemies. That is justice. Salvation is justice for us. Thank you, Lord. This is proof that we have. Today, we receive your justice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Take and eat of your strength that is in your body. I hold up the cup of the covenant, the eternal covenant. The covenant that was made was cut between God, Almighty, everlasting, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Son of Man. And because this cup was this covenant was cut between God and God, I cannot do it. We thank you for the perfection of the covenant, the perfection and the fullness of your promises to us. We thank you for that, Father. We thank you. We thank you that it's not dependent on us because it was made between God and God. I'm so grateful. We put ourselves in remembrance. We put you, Father God, in remembrance of that faithful day that was ordained before the foundations of the earth when your son was sent as the sacrificial lamb for mankind to restore and to redeem us and translate us out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the son of love. We put you in remembrance. You told us, plead your case, put me in remembrance, put me in remembrance, put me in remembrance, put me in remembrance, me in remembrance so that you can receive justice. And Jesus, we don't have to tell it, but you, you told us to remember. So we're remembering the fullness of what was done on the cross with your broken body and with your shed blood. We call the angels to remember that fateful day during the Passover in, in Israel. We put the powers of darkness in remembrance. We know our covenant. We know who we are. We know who we belong to. We know the, the price that was paid for us and for the world. And we take and drink with great joy as we partake of this covenant meal. We thank you. Bless you. Father, we ask that every word that was spoken today be sealed for time and eternity. We ask that these words be recorded in the books of heaven. We ask that the angel armies be released on our behalf so that we see the blessing of the Lord that makes us rich with every spiritual gift in heavenly places that is legally ours by right of the eternal covenant with Almighty God. We seal this work in the blood of the Lamb by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. We declare according to Isaiah 55, 11, that every word in agreement with the will of the Father shall not return empty without accomplishing what he desires and without succeeding in the matter for which it was sent. Amen. We declare that the Holy Spirit's breath, the only life is upon these prayers. We declare that the enemy shall not release against our lives or our families any curses, counter curses, strategies, or retaliations against our health, marriages, children, grandchildren, finances, ministries, businesses, properties, destiny, or well-being in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. amen.